Hello again and welcome to what I believe to be the finale to our journey with Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. If it's not the finale then it's definitely the penultimate episode, it's one or the other. But because this is a blind playthrough I am uncertain but I'm feeling as though we are amping up towards the end. As seen in the last episode Ed, with the help of Sheriff Nick Reyes, Dr. Lomas, um, Adam, who is a Sheriff Nick's subordinate, as well as Ed's old publicist stroke editor, Robert Carrigan, managed to find Missing Esther and Missing Jenny, which was a, a great relief. But now, Esther is recanting the events that led to Sam's death, which we're about to experience now. So, without further hesitation, let's go. Throughout my professional career, I have never encountered a more disturbed mind than that of Subject V. To this day, I still wonder if she ever had the slightest chance of finding happiness. He said he wanted to remind you about your fishing plans. But I know that he just wanted to have a beer with you. I was surprised when he came back so soon. He, he wasn't himself. I said, Sam, what's wrong? What did you see? Oh, I don't like this. What is she doing? How on earth? Um, I was going to question how did Veronica stroke Lisa stroke Faye attain a gun. Then re I realised she managed to lie her way into a fa wealthy family. So you know, money can buy you anything in the states, huh? I'm very concerned about what's in that bag. I don't want to pull the trigger. Don't make me pull the trigger, game. I don't want to do it. Oh. Is the game going to make me kill Sam? I'm not happy about that one bit. Let's do this tonight. Same time. We better not be late. <laughs> well played, Kitty. Oh, she was going to try and kill Patronus or Per whatever his name was, P Pedontus. Per P P yeah. That cat is an elusive. <gasps> what if the cat holds a great secret? I told Sam to call the police right away, but you know how stubborn he was. He said he'd tell you the next day when you went fishing. He didn't think much about it. He said a lot of youngsters did target practice in the woods and that she was probably shooting at squirrels. We didn't sleep well that night. Got up earlier than usual. Just before dawn, while we were having breakfast, we heard a car. We thought that was odd. But why? That is one loyal ass cat. Oh, 
I know at this point we've heavily established that Veronica is not of sound mind and quite usually there is an illogical way of thinking with people of that level of mental illness but what was she actually thinking? What did she think she was going to achieve from this? But that wasn't the case. Sam! Oh my god! She made me cover him with a blanket and then she dragged me away from him. She locked me up with the baby in the bunker and said she'd be back in a few hours. I mean, the girl needs to also make up her mind. Did she give a shit about this baby or not? the phone down there. I tried to call the police, but I no longer knew what time it was. So I braced myself for her return. Oh, that would just be terrifying. Ah, oh, they've buried Samuel with How Leonard. How am I going to live without him, Adam? What will I do? Well, you could get ready for dinner. Otherwise, Jenny will be asleep when her grandma gets there. Oh, I forgot about Eddie's apple pie. I hope I didn't burn it. Ah. Oh. I like how she's been given the surrogate helm of grandma. Keep that up. You'll finish writing that novel in record time. It's a very odd family tree, but hey, it's better than no family at all. Maybe. Does ten years sound record breaking to you? What's on your mind? This morning, I finally got a call from my acquaintance at the State Adoption Agency. It seems like the agency that Robert hired for Veronica's adoption hid relevant information about her biological family. What? They molested her. They broke her. They... I don't even want to think about it. Bastards. Mm. Does that explain everything? Why she was a psychopath? I would argue it doesn't explain everything. Many victims of abuse become abusers themselves. But sometimes, when they find a better family where they feel loved, 
that somehow compensates for the previous trauma. In Veronica's case, not even Robert's profound love could help her. The causes are multifaceted, personal, social, even biological. We'll never know. I suppose we are all broken in one way or another. We don't all become Veronica, but we're not saints either. I thought you didn't want to interfere with my job. Hey, who's been interfering with mine for the past week? <laughs> Come on. Kiss the girl. I do wonder if, while ultimately the plot threads stay the same, I wonder if the romance between Julia and Nick would still have happened if I had picked different options throughout the game. I'm guessing that to be the case. When are you leaving? This afternoon. Do we ever forgive Lou? Do we ever meet Lou? Do we ever find out what Lou did wrong? I guess not. When I'm done with all the paperwork, uh, if you're not busy, I know there's someone waiting for you in L.A., but Cerro Lake is beautiful this time of year, and, uh... There is someone, but I've given him far too many opportunities, and none to Cerro Lake. We could go back to Mama Louise. There are so many things I haven't tried yet. Ooh, well, there we go. We've unlocked the romance. I mean, for all we know, Lou probably did nothing wrong, but... We'll never find out. <sighs> yeah, so... Oh my god. <laughs> uh, well played, Kitty. Well played, Kitty. Please don't touch her. She's just a baby. Don't touch her. She's my damn daughter. Can you point where he touched you on the doll? We found you a new daddy. Do you understand what I'm saying? I love you too, sweetie. To the moon and back. You're not a bad girl. Will we still be friends when I'm gone? Oh, God. Like her whole life She's is flashing daughter. before her eyes. Quite literally. Shut up. absolutely rejoiced to see that the cat exacted revenge against Veronica. That has got to be the best ending we could have hoped for. And now we have come to the end of Albert... Albert? Who the heck is Albert? Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo, uh, the game version. So as I mentioned previously, near to the wars the start of this playthrough having watched the movie um, I knew what sort of themes were going to be explored in this game uh, but not necessarily how um, the plot was going to unfold so gaslighting of the main protagonist was um, pretty much the essential element of the movie so it came as no surprise that there was 
definite potential for things that never happened to have appeared to have happened or people to have died to have never died or um you know perhaps people not necessarily being who they said they were those types of things were definitely always on the cards but i never anticipated it to go quite in the direction that it did i will say now that i've thoroughly enjoyed the overall story of this game it was a very similar experience to that of um, games i've played in the past such as heavy rain uh, beyond two souls the dark pictures anthology um you know similar pick your own adventure type narrative games and i think it does a pretty good job of delivering a good narrative um it definitely falls a little in the gameplay department with regards to some of the uh inputs um yes okay i I fudged a few but overall there was nothing overly uh, challenging and as for choosing the different options throughout the game you know different responses and different um, options for decision making it doesn't feel as though it had a great deal of weight to the experience like i say it may have impacted things such as whether or not nick and julia uh, started a relationship and small things such as that but for the start to end aspect that was always going to be a very linear outcome but overall yes like i say very happy i really hope you watching also enjoyed it um yes so i don't really know what else to add to that i think what i might do is i might skip these if we can it doesn't look i can pause it but i can't skip it that's a shame i might let these credits play out just in case there's any post credit activity um which we will find out shortly by the looks of it but yes um so my question to those watching would be one did you enjoy this playthrough two would you like to see me make more videos and series like this if so do you have any games that you recommend or would like to see me play if yes or no <laughs> to any of those questions please be sure to leave comments um, and of course give these videos thumbs up if you have been enjoying but let's see if there's any more to it no there we are so we have returned to the title screen that is the definitive end to this game so once again thank you ever so much i do appreciate all of those who have been watching anyone that's been leaving comments um or anything like that i enjoyed making this series that's for sure and i do hope to make a similar one sometime soon but for now that's me i will see you all again some other time ta-da